The bicycle gave me everything I have in my life now, and it probably saved my life at the same time. My relationship with the regions uh, where the Silk Road Mountain Race will be taking place started about 10 years ago. My initial relationship with the Silk Road Mountain Race started as a photographer. And it was actually my first exposure to ultra endurance racing too. I was just watching these riders and just thinking like, I think I, think I wanna do this. A lot of people who have never cycled long distance might look at these types of races as madness. In that sense, I can agree because I feel like it's a, a head game. Um, the mental and emotional struggles that you have to battle. I want to learn as much as possible about everything that I'm seeing and hearing and feeling. Often people ask me if I've been terrified or afraid of traveling and cycling and trekking over these remote areas of Asia. So if I feel a sense of fear, it's kind of a propellant to say, you need to do this, you need to move forward. I remember this one time in Kazakhstan where I had been camping and I had gotten turned around on my route. I wasn't sure if I was on the right road. And I remember starting to cry and I told myself out loud, quit crying, that's a waste of water. This is the type of mentality you need to finish a race. Let's just say that I feel like my mental and emotional space is what's going to get me to the finish line. I may not be the fastest, I may not be the strongest, I'm definitely neither of those but I'm, I'm pretty tenacious.